Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Myself Deep and today in this video, I will walk you through the installation of our Zelship Laravel SaaS Bullet. Although we have written a detailed installation guide in our documentation, this video will help you to get started with Zelship as quickly as possible. So let's go to our installation guide. So this is our installation guide. Don't worry, I will provide a link to this installation guide in the description below this video. So before we get started with the installation, you need to select a local Laravel development environment. You have mainly three options for this. First one is Laravel HUD, second one is Laravel Fail, and the last one is Manual. We will cover first two options in this video. First one is Laravel HUD and second one is Laravel Z. We recommend using the Laravel HUD because it is easy to get started with HUD. First of all, we will see the installation using the Laravel HUD. So let's get started. First of all, we will clone the repo of our Jetship Laravel task bullet. So this is our GitHub repository of Jetship Laravel SaaS Bullet. Once you make the purchase, you will have access to this repository. Okay, so let's clone it. Let's clone this ref. Please make sure that you clone it inside your hard directory. Okay, we will open this clone repo and let me full screen it. Okay, this is our Jetship Laravel SaaS Bullet. Here you can see our folder structure of our Jetship Laravel SaaS Bullet. So now we will follow our installation guide and proceed further. So the first command that we need to hit is Composer Install. This command will install all the Composer packages in our project. So let's copy this command and we will open the terminal and paste this command. Okay, we have successfully installed all the Composer packages. So let's go to our second command. You can see the second command is only for the sale. Currently we are using the Laravel hard, so we will skip this command. So the third command is also for the sale only. So we will also skip this command. So our next command is to generate a key. Now in the next step, we have to set up our .env file. So let's go to the VS code and we will create a new file .env. And we will copy all the variables from env.example. In the same step, we have to set up our key. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Okay, we have successfully set the application key. Okay, in the next command, we need to install all our node modules. So we will use pnpm as our package manager. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Sorry, we will only use pnpm. Okay, we have successfully installed our node modules. In the next step, we have to set up our database. So we will go to our env file. This is our env file and we have already set up our database as SQLite. For this, we need to also create a new file database.sqlite in database directory. And this is done. In the next step, we need to migrate our database. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. This will migrate all the tables in our database. In the next command, we need to seed these tables. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Okay, we have seeded all the tables in our database. In the next step, we need to link our storage. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. Okay, we have linked the storage. And in the next command, we will start our development server. We will use pnpm. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. So we have started our development server. In the next step, we will serve our application. If you are using the hard, you can access the project in your browser by using the folder name followed by dot .page domain. So my folder name is Jetship Laravel SaaS Boilerplate. So I can access my project using the URL Jetship Laravel SaaS Boilerplate dot .test. So I will open the browser and type this URL. And you can see I can access the my project. So let's go to next step. If you want the build version, you can run this command pnpm run build. Okay. And our next step is creating an admin user. So we will copy this command and paste it in our terminal. And it will ask some details regarding our admin user. Please save these credentials as it will be asked for logging in as admin user. So now let's log in as admin user. My admin address is admin at the right admin .com. And as you can see, we are successfully logged in as our admin user. From here, you can access your landing page. And this is our admin panel. We have successfully installed our Jetship Laravel SaaS available using the Laravel HUD. Okay, now we will see the installation of our Jetship using the Laravel side. Please make sure that you have already installed a Docker desktop in your local system as it is required for using the Laravel sync. Also make sure that you have already cloned this repo, uh, Jetship Laravel SaaS Bellet in your system. I have already cloned this and I will open it using this 
VS Code. Okay. Now we will follow our installation guide and proceed further. This is our installation guide. We'll follow it. The first command in our installation guide is Composer install. We'll copy it and paste it in our terminal. This command will install all the Composer packages that are required for our boilerplate. The next step is Sailor. But before running this command, it is mandatory that we create our .env file and set up our database. Okay? Yes, we will copy all the environment variables from env.example file and we will set up our database as well. This is the variables related to our database. Okay? We will set up MySQL database. Our db hash is also MySQL. The w port is 3306, which is the default port of MySQL. DB database is Laravel. A username is sale and the password will be the password okay we have configured our database now we will run the command please make sure that your docker is already running we will remove hyphen d as we want logs okay now our server is running as a next step we will set our stale alias in our new terminal the next step is to generate a key using the sale artisan key generate. We will paste it in our new terminal. And yes, we have successfully generated a key. Now, in the next step, we will install all the node modules using the pnpm. Okay, we have installed all the node modules. The next step is to set up our database. We have already set up database while setting up our env file. Okay, so we will skip this step. Our next step is to migrate our database. We will copy the command and paste it in our terminal. Okay, we have successfully migrated all tables in our database. Now in the next step, we will see all the database tables. We will copy the command and paste it in our terminal. And in the next step, we will link our storage. Okay, we have linked our storage. And in the next step, we will start our development server using the sale pnbm render. We will paste the command and yes, we have already started our development server. We can access our project at localhost. Okay, congratulations, you have successfully installed Jetsave using the Laravel sale. If you want to build for a production, please run this command, sale pmpm run build. If you want to generate a build for a production, please run this command, sale pmpm run build. Our last step is to create an admin user. Okay, we will run this command. We need to run this command in the third terminal we'll paste it okay we need to set a alias for this okay we'll copy this and set the alias after this we will run the previous command okay it will ask us the details regarding the admin we'll set it please save this credentials as it will be asked for logging in so let's log in Okay, we have successfully logged in as an admin user. Here you can see our admin panel and it is our landing page. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.